Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play War Tales. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 80. We're back in Vertrus province. I had to go do a little money run, basically. We did the whole loop between Marheim, Stromkamp, Cortia, and then dumping things off at the uh, Brotherhood training grounds down here. Making some cash. So we did some trading. Did a couple of cheap missions, too. And in the process, Alana leveled up, and something else that I learned, which is really, really cool, I had been wondering about the, at the Brotherhood Training Grounds, you can upgrade these special items. I have to find one of them. Olgierd has one. Oh, yeah, Olgierd doesn't have one now. Jenna has one. She got this dagger. Beheadites, Chris. And now you can see it's Dexterity 53. Uh, it, it upgraded to level 10. You can upgrade it. A level at a time so this weapon came as a level 8 weapon so it cost me like 450 gold roughly to upgrade it to level 9 and like 500 to upgrade it to level 10. you do that at the brotherhood training grounds but here's the thing you actually have to unequip the weapon for it to show up as a weapon that you can upgrade at the brotherhood training grounds and i didn't know that and i kept wondering why these things weren't showing up so i just decided to try it so i upgraded hers and then in the process I upgraded, uh, we got to look here at the Virtue's Travel Post. I upgraded the one that Old Geared was using. And unfortunately for him, I upgraded it too far and it's level 11 now. So he has to wait until he gets to level 11 before he can use it again, which won't be too long. But he had to, we had to reforge him a new Rhyme Steel dagger to use. I mean, Rhyme Steel longsword to use until he could get to the point where he can use that. Alana, meanwhile, leveled up at the very last thing that we did. So she needs new stuff. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab this. We're going to grab... I, I can't remember everything that it takes. So I'm just going to grab everything. I can't remember everything that it takes to make this new stuff. So I'm just going to grab it all. Because we also need to do some blade um, oil stuff for her. And so here's the other thing that's really interesting. Is you can make these concentrated. Uh, these concentrated wedding oils. They become a belt item instead of an oil. And what it does is it says it has an additional 50% chance to apply its effects. Well, the wedding oil itself has a 50% chance to apply bleeding. So now he should be able to apply bleeding 100% of the time. And the cool thing is for characters like Old Geared, who are using unstable oil, this has an additional 25%. So it's a 25% for him to get uh, an attack of opportunity off the unstable. After attacking an enemy in close combat, has a 25% chance to follow up with an attack of opportunity. That should be 50% chance now. That's something I'm trying to use on all my swordsmen. So like Lyderic has it, and Gideon has it, and Ubanon has it. Those are nice things to have. But we're going to go over here. And they got the cicadas here, so I'm sorry how noisy this is. We'll get in here on the forge. And we're going to make for Alana a Acadian steel stiletto. So all we need is wood, coal, and iron. Great. Let's forge this bad boy. You sucker. Make me miss that first one. Okay, there it is. 72 stab skill. Oh, and then we need to forge her Acadian steel uh, light armor. Waistcoat. Let's get her that. Wow, 111 armor. That's awesome. Okay, that's really nice. So let's get those things on her. Right here, Alana. So we'll take all of these, shift remove the bards, reinforce layers, put that in, put that in. Her bard reinforce layers are up here. All the crits. So there she goes, she's got 176 armor now. She's got 119 dex. 54 critical chance. Very nice for her. And we need to apply some oils for her. 
the down here. We need to make a wedding oil for her and we need to make a crit oil for her. So we'll exit out of here. We'll go to Apothecary Clinic. Let's see if she's got anything I can it's buy. It's all here. so confusing to me. She would do oil. this to my family and why? Okay. So here, let's get into a wedding oil. Reese is the thing we're falling short on here. And she needs a crit oil, and I can't remember. I think it's called sharpening oil. This is, yep, critical chance. She gets that. We'll go to Alana, and we'll say you can have the wedding oil. Make things bleed. Oh, we had a sharpening oil already. Okay, so she's got that. And now we can level her up. She's level 11. She's going to get... Yeah, let's just do critical hits. Excellent. The Capitan is ready to go. We will sell... What's this person? Happy? Joran wants to keep the old shop in honor of his uncle. What am I supposed to invest in now? You can always give me money. It's all so confusing to me. Okay, Who so now we have this rhyme steel waistcoat. Why? Does anybody need this? What's she getting? That's armor 75 and this is what? Yeah, so it's a downgrade for her on that and same thing. Kira's got this one. I don't think anybody else needs this. These two got their level 11 stuff. Jen is the one who's fallen behind. She's got this 75. And it's matching, so yeah, we're just going to sell those things off. And then we have to go back to the travel post and dump all this stuff off because it's too heavy. It's way too heavy. So this. I think that's and that and that and that and that and that and that and that. Okay. So. Let's depart and get back to... Oh, we gotta go this way. It's back to the Grinmere region. And we have 21 days of food. I was down to 8 days of food. So in the process of doing the trading... I was able to get some more food, which is good. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? So the next thing I want to do is there's a Brotherhood training ground up here and we want to stop at it because the item that Jadruk has been using the whole time we should be able to upgrade. So he's got strength 11 now and let's see what level is it say it is. It's a level 5 mace. We should be able to upgrade it. He's level what? He's 10 and he's almost 11. Oh man, he's so close. Okay, this is going to cost some change but... You're not bothering me. I just finished eating my mutton. So we got to do this. So that's why it doesn't show You're up. Bothering me. I'm going to go I here. I just finished eating my mutton stew. Undo that. There it is. So 219. You can see what it does. Level 6. 7. 8. 9. 10. And now you take it out. You don't You're want it to go up that me. last one. I just finished eating my mutton stew. What would you like to work on today? A specific skill? A weapon upgrade? So we just spent a whole ton of money on that. But he gets this and it's strength 33. Critical hit. Level 10. So that helps. He's up to 86 now. So remember, the whole point of this thing is... Um, he gets a guaranteed critical hit on this. Let's see. The wrath. Yeah. If his strength is more than the targets, uh, the damage dealt is double and the critical hit is guaranteed. So that's... That's the thing. We want to have that so that helps him so it's another reason to really have the trade route mapped out and know what you want to do with that oh and the other thing is all across the landscape now there are roust fields um is it going to show it over here yeah right here there's a roust field here that might be the only other new one i thought i saw another one in here but there are roust fields, so. Which weren't there before.
So we're going to head back up here and try to solve the mystery, the great mystery. And we have Lyderick with us. Now where are we? The best way to... Oh, we have some people up here to get... Yeah, since we need money. If we can get there. Which we can't. Oh, because I was stupid and hung on to this. Get my shift key pressed down like a dummy. Yep, there we go. All right, well, we won't camp on the bridge. There's our target up there. So let's do this. Still making stuff. Let's see what we can make for food. Tale of the wolf and the hop. Always good. Critical damage. It's really nice because there are some meals here that will help you with the buying and selling of trade goods. So I made sure to save those. And in addition to big meals, that'll do things like reduce the rate at which your fatigue stacks for your group by as much as 50%. So when you couple that with meals that make you run faster and increase your movement speed and allow you to buy and sell goods faster you can do the trade route really quickly and you can make a pretty good chunk of change doing it so mead pike beer infused wolf ribs and okay, let's see what else let's eat we got 22 days with the food we're gonna fight some guys so tomorrow Let's see, what is this? It says we have to have one beer in here at least. Okay. What is this? This is going to be movement increased by one and increase the troops' happiness. We'll take that. Strength increased by 25%. That's a fatigue stack one. We're going to try to save that for when we do another trade route one. Dexterity increase, troop speed, troops fatigue. Critical hit damage. There we go. Run speed increased by certain percentage damage against animals don't care about that so much movement increased that we already have a plus one for movement maximum valor points we'll take that critical damage we already have one for that critical hit increased by 10 percent or 15 percent let's do that and then Constitution, that'll give us more hit points for when we're fighting. Yeah, and then how much do we need? This is worth, what, 40? I need another cheap meal in here like this. Reduces which the speeds, fatigue, uh, the team's fatigue. Okay, let's do that. All right. So I'm trying to make smart use of the food. Homer and Polly's relationship has improved. All right, let's go fight these guys. You guys ready? Paladin, level eight, this should go quickly. These are not gonna be capture types. Because they're zealots. So. There's a sword guy. Right there. He's somebody will want to get caught up really quick there. Greet. This thing is we don't need to be caught over here. So you should go where? Like this. I did get rid of one character. I got rid of my other spearman to keep my group 
in such a position that I didn't need to scroll bar over here because we've got so many bears. That that became my new rule. If the scroll bar happened, I had too many characters. And since we took on um, that new character from the story, what's his name? Trying to find him. Leiderich Aldhovendorp. Since we took him on, then what I didn't want to do is have too many characters. So this is the leader. We're going to have Jedruk get up on him. Okay, I've got this guy up here. Old Geard, you're going to have to. Oh, he's got two guys over here. Okay. Let's be smart about this then. Let's grab Pete. Is this Jenna? Yeah, it is. That's good. Old gear, Jenna, Xenia, Leo Hall. Okay. You're going to want to get up here on those guys. So I got a bear here. Bear there. Got these guys here. Let's switch you with that bear. This guy's right here. Lighterick. Let's switch bear there and you can sit there because I don't need them to get flamed. What do I have here? Alana, Dranus. Okay. Let's take care of these guys first then. Switch them. Eat. You gotta start us off. There's a two-handed guy right here, so Manus is going to go engage him. These guys are the dudes who do the most damage, so. Because here he comes. Yep. But you're only going to hit him. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, cool. So we can go over here then. Oh, he can completely kill that guy. That was awesome. There's their leader. Critical hit percentage and food stuff is doing really well for us. That guy's dead. That is working out really well. Let's do this then, Leo. You, we got all kinds of valor points to blow here, so. That was fancy. Let's just leave you where you are. Want to try that again there, Bleeder? Uh, Xenia, I don't think she's close enough to get these guys, so here's what we'll do. We're going to have Old Geard run up here and get the first of the Flambe boys. Oh, well. That was effective. Let's have you go around and... Hit this guy. Let's just have you taunt him. There. Jenna, I know you can kill that guy over there. I'm not worried about that. Let's get Dreadus over here. These level 8 guys don't pose nearly as much of a threat. While I was doing the run, this is, yeah, they're demoralized. While I was doing the trade run, what was interesting is just uh, southwest of Stromcap, I ran into a merchant group being attacked by level 11 outlaws. And there were 
over 20 of them. So I started recording that because I thought some of my people might die. Um, it ended up working out in my favor and nobody died and all I took was some armor damage and not a lot actually. But it was very interesting. I mean, it's just completely different when you're this this level, level 10, 9, 8. I mean, uh, 11, 10, 9 here for the group and you're fighting all of level 11s and there's 20 of them. It was intense. Jadruk makes a level so we could go upgrade his mace one more time. And yeah, strength for him makes all the sense in the world, especially considering the weapon that he has. Anybody else really have? Yeah, I got some. There we go. So that group is taken care of. Now, who else do we have up here? Right this way. Okay. What do you folks have? Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Sure. The crop circles, that's so much fun. Oh, and these guys are over here by the crop circles, being punks. Okay. Level 9. Well then. Oh, it's a field one. And they have 18 of them. What kind of archers do they have? Yep, damage if you got no guard applies burning the target that disengages if you get close. Okay. Well, then the big thing is, as usual, find the big guys and lock them up. So there's a guy right there. Jadruk, you can have him. There's dudes, there's dude way over here. So yeah, that's not happening. So two handed guy over here. Gideon. I've got plenty of two handed guys over here. So we're going to get some bears and big swords over there. Kira and Harin will do this. We don't need their Alana. Could probably be over here and boost two-hander there. Archer there. Another big two-hander in there. Two-hander. Bear. This is going to be problematic. Let's do, let's do bear over there to get that guy's attention. And then I need this archer. A little better situation so they can move up and shoot on all these guys. All right, Pete, start us off. She. Oh yeah, bring him, bring it on. Dang it! Now he's now he's got that guy free. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. I don't want him getting free, so we're gonna do this. Don't hit your own guy. Dang it! Eyes in the back of their head. Uh, son of a gun. Okay. Let's do this. You're going to move just a little bit and do this. Here comes the first one. Yep. Going to lock him up. That's great. Let's see. Where was the next really obvious one? Right there. Jadruk. Let's do this. 
think he can kill this guy. Can he kill him with this? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. So, given that... Let's go get this guy here. Oh, man. He's a menace. That's awesome. Let's put you right next to this archer, buddy. Let's taunt him. He's going to go up there and swing that. Yep, that makes sense. He's going to attack the bear. That right there, getting smacked in the face with the mace, is the only reason I can figure out that these videos get demonetized. Well, they don't get fully demonetized by YouTube, but they get restricted. And I don't understand it. This is the only gaming series I put up where YouTube restricts it. Why? I can only figure it's because of that brutal mace to the face shot. <laughs> That's the only thing I can figure. Uh, so I got this guy up here. He's going to run over here and swing, but I don't think he can hit both of us. Maybe he can. Let's do this. Let's make sure to keep him out of there. Because that is the problem. You want to try and kill him? That'd be good. I like that better. Just kill him outright. Okay. Now I feel a little better. There goes all my armor. You sucker. Not happy about that. Let's take Kira here. You can do this. You can hit that guy or this jerk. Those worshippers I don't like. When you get your turn, hurt this guy. I don't think any more guys are coming in this direction. So what I might do is run over here and be like a little brave and be like, y'all want to come this way? Go ahead. Harim, do you think you're a poker? So it would kind of be more up to Alana. Very nice. Nicely done. Um, that's devastating. You're still gonna get a hit on there, aren't you, though? Jerk. Okay. Who's here? Leo and Ubanon. Let's send in Oob and Leo both have basically the same. Oh, they can't get there from there. They both basically have the same armor. About 109. That helps. Now, what do you got? You got this guy and this guy here. Can you get both of those there? If you're standing right there. Oh, you can't move that far. I got you. What if I move you that way? I can't, still can't do it. Okay, then you should just stay. Or we do this. Can you finish him off? 
Yeah, then you get Fury for next turn. I'll take that. Oh, them two bears is going to eat you. That is the wrong thing to do. Jenna, how far can you go? How far can you travel? You go here and then you can't go any further? Why not? Darling? What? 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 What, <laughs> what is... What is this design? <laughs> this is... This is ridiculous. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh! No way. All because this is very, very badly designed here. Kill it. This is pretty cool. That's a new. I haven't used the two-handed swordsman very much, so that was that was new there. Lighterick, it's time for you to come in here and kill somebody. Extra attack of opportunity is very nice. Do not like Jenna just about dying there. That's not good. Throw a pumpkin at someone? <laughs> now he's confused. He's confused as it. Why didn't she throw a pumpkin at me? That's nice. Bears. It's a burning bear. Jen is making me nervous. Three hundred and three hit there. Is everybody ready to quit now? Nope, they're still not ready to quit. Okay, bear, come finish it off and save Jenna, cause I'm not happy about her almost dying. That was. Gonna be a bunch of bears trying to get in on that action. Can you actually Dreadus get behind it? Yep. 
kill this son of a bitch. Try to kill my Jenna. 539. I think that's the highest I've ever hit. Or holy crap. Okay, I'm not even playing around with that. Let's heal and be moved on. Pippin made a level. Pippin. You good pony. Alright, crop circles. Onward back to town. We've got almost 3k to turn in. Which would be very welcome. <laughs> and then the thing we need to do next is where are we at? We're right there. The Broker's Palace, the Hovendorp Manor. This is where we want to stop next, I think. Can I sell you guys some stuff? Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? You might. What do we have down here? We picked up this. Level 8 knife. A helmet. Lighterick doesn't have a helmet. Is this a medium helmet? It is. Guard and armor. Inquisitive. Inquisition. What is it? What? Slice? Slice? While engaged unit gains one rage every time they attack. That works for me. What about this? This is flaming strike deals damage to target and applies burning. Yeah, that's better than arrow defense. Okay. This should be the mansion. Let's see what's going on here. Anything? Sister. What have you done? Lady Malvina is now refusing to talk about her brother. I'd rather you didn't mention my brother in front of me. Nor but he's right here. Anyone else. He's right here. Can you not recognize him? Okay. So, what? Lockpick? What's in there? I am responsible for Lady Malvina's security. <laughs> the brothers in arms who protected Broker Willa were veterans. So their assailants must have been quite formidable. Okay, so we've learned nothing there. Brother Hendead. Clues. Yes. Leave me. I need to focus. I'm gonna focus my sword in your back. I've been Lady Malvina's. Between you and me, I believe that Lydric Old Hovendorp is capable of killing his own mother. We already established that he's not. He was broke, he had gambling nets, and he's just not that kind of person. Okay. In that case. Dag Nebit? How generous of you, mercenaries. I am convinced the People's Fellowship is behind this gruesome murder. The common folk have loathed Willa Old Hovendorp ever since she opposed the abolition of slavery. These paupers don't understand the real cost of labor. Imagine how much this cathedral would have cost if we'd relied on paid workers. Okay, so it can't be then. Inquisitor get in. May the all-seeing eye bless you. Priest of Light. Gothenburg is the first city outside. I was saddened to hear of Broker Hovendorp's passing. I was saddened because Maybe she likes slaves. I'm just trying to see if I can move the needle here. Step. Which is not happening. Okay. Gotta figure out what the next step is. Let's go in here. Let's talk to the informant. You got Apologies, anything? Apologies, but I have nothing I have, for you. I have a this is a quest from Stromcap to inform, or Marheim is where I got it, so. Let's do that. That's extra payday. Now we're at 3,000. Might she be looking for work? That's Our everything that we've done. Is to ensure that all service requests Since last are episode. We regularly In addition to the trade job. route. Here is your reward. So. This gets us some more gangs that we can fight. Oh, trade with Stromcap. Okay, scrolls. Let's, I'm going to do that later. Trade with Stromcamp. Okay, strolls. We'll do that later. Vanquish this band. Don't worry about the rat's nest. 
say, mercenaries. Have you run into a refugee from Edoran who wanted to get to Gozenberg? Not anymore. I haven't heard from I my cousin in weeks. I haven't seen your friend. So. Now broke a hoven is dead. I don't know. There's got to be something else we can do to push this quest forward. So. Oh, maybe we can go to the embassy now. Let's try that. The embassy said earlier that they wouldn't let us in there until we had solved the murder. But it's the one building that's still gray, so. So let's see what we can do about that. Maybe they'll let us in there. Don't worry, mercenaries. We'll stay here until the invest. Dang it. That's not what I was looking for. Don't uh. worry, mercenaries. So that's my only choice there, eh? Okay. Bummer. Well then. We have 17 of 19 areas complete. We haven't completed this because we got the Alzarian Embassy and we haven't completed the Broker's Palace. And then we have to kill this guy who I'm sure Fenris Dread has nothing to do with this. <sighs> very, very difficult. So anything new in the Broker's Palace? You may not pass. There's no excuse for poking around state documents. Not even the death of Broker Hovendorp. Yeah, there is. Broker Hovendorp's death. Only members of the Broker Council are allowed in. Watch it. Some might think you're implying that a council member is under suspicion. I do. <laughs> Ayesa. This yeah, she's is just... incredible. I've never seen any... We've talked to her before. How These two. Still... Just look around you. The streets I commiserate, dear lady. Same discussion as last time. Good to see you again. You should head to Hovendorp Manor. The broker's daughter has a search going there. I did. I can't get anything else out of them. Good to see you again. We were there on the night of Willa Old Hovendorp's death. I remember. Yep, so there's that. I'll take advantage of his newfound prosperity to ask him to insure my first ship. Allegedly, all the brokers were still at the... Nothing new there. The role of the broker council is to run the... Yes, mercy. The Brotherhood reports didn't tell us much more than what we already knew. At the time of Willa Ald Hovind... So there's nothing there. <clears throat> hmm... Seventy four percent. And then there's this. This is an arena, right? <clears throat> Who are all these guys? What will become of us without Broker Hovendorp? Comfrey? Oh, that's. That's okay, so we we'll get plus three for this. Don't repeat this to anyone, but I think that the rumors are true. Okay. Broker Berner killed Willa Old Hovendorp. He never got over the fact that his best fighters left to join his rival, so he <clears throat> murdered her. Okay, that moved it to 77. What a mess. Apparently the situation has improved, but until recently, Broker Berner paid us so poorly that we couldn't even afford to go to the apothecary. Most of us went to the competition. If you want my opinion, Alizar is behind the broker's murder. Yeah, we talked to him before. What about this character? Don't become like me, mercenaries. Don't if you don't have enough Campbell. to cover your losses, or you win a bit too much, they will come after you. You could have let Hovendorp's arena win. It was the least you could do to pay your last respects to my late mother. Godric Oldburner looks a bit too pleased with his victory. I would keep an eye on him if I were you. He seems on edge at the moment. Okay. Well, I suppose that I can't refuse you, my finest wares. No fighting today. We need to clean up the mess left by the arena. 
Okay, so that's everything there. So let's go back to Burner's... Burner, Burner, Burner's Arena. Let's go back there. Maybe he'll let something slip. Let slip the dogs of war. We have 23 days worth of food and cash. 12k. So we've got the things that I want, which are money and food. Will you say something else what now? What brings you here, mercenaries? Yeah. Even when times were hard, we've lost many fighters over the last few months. As Broker Godric called... Yeah. What a victory! This arena used to be very popular. So that's that. We can't get anything from him. Okay, who else... Who else can tell us something? Wait a minute. Let's go to the church. Maybe we didn't speak to everybody there. And what's down here? We've been down there. Is there anybody here? There's not. Okay. Let's go talk to the church one more time. Maybe somebody in here Maybe knows something. All seeing eye got yeah, all seeing eye. People can't find work. Don't expect me to say a prayer for Broker Hovendorp's soul. I don't. I'm just trying to get the quest advanced. <laughs> anybody else down here know anything? The League won't forget what you Northern was captured while freeing slaves from the Hovendorp mine. That's where we all were on the night of Willis' death. Maybe we need to go back to the Hovendorp mine. Thanks again. It's true, the Fellowship despises the Hovendorp family. Given a chance, we would have gladly killed Broker. They weren't there. And we talked to them before. Okay. Maybe we should go back to the Hovendorp mine. Because that is one of those things that just doesn't feel like it's been properly handled yet. Because the blacksmiths keep saying, The mine. Which it's not like the characters in the game change their dialogue after things happen. Because they, they typically don't. But I just get the feeling that we need to go check that out. So let's see what you can make, bud. Creature comforts. Candied fruit. That gets turned into a different meal. Eel soup gets turned into a different meal. What do we have down here? Hail of the wolf in the hop. Okay. Let's see what we can use bodies for the bears all right dexterity increase what is this strength reduces the speed at which the tro troops fatigue stacks we want to go outside of town so we want that to happen bonus critical damage sure if we're going to fight somebody actually let's save that for later and let's do just a bunch of this One too many. Let's do cheese. We got plenty of cheese. So let's go back to the mine. Because there was there was a bunch of dead people in the mine. But maybe there's somebody there now or something. Greet only hit me because I was in the way. I'm sure she didn't do it on purpose. Unless by the all-seeing eye. What if she tried to kill me? <laughs> no. Greet will leave the troop. No, drink. Minus one relationship with Greet. <laughs> Oh, you poor people. Okay, I think we just go straight out here. If we go straight out here, we can get up to the mine. Yeah, I mean, it's... I'm just not entirely sure what else you would do. This is... There's this, the if scholars. You to study the ancients, you should have, have you ever been to all the, the knowledge in the world? Couldn't get all the knowledge in the Try world. Try as I might, I can't get those Harag savages to rename their marsh boar. Crocs wine. 
How could anyone take my bestry seriously? <laughs> we are competing with the Edoran University to compile the first. Isn't this contest of intellects exciting? Yeah. So, I suppose you wish to know more about Broker Hovendorp. I do. All of the wounds on Willa Ald Hovendorp's body targeted vital points. Yeah, we learned about the rooks from her. Okay. Oh, there's a person up here. The universities of Gosenberg and Alazar never stopped working together. Not after our kingdoms were divided, nor during the war. Great. That doesn't tell me anything. Inspect. The history of the kingdom. The northern kingdom was the largest and most powerful in the known world. Ruled by the Alazar family from time immemorial, it inspired both fear and respect in its neighbors. But discontent was brewing among its people. The merchants and bourgeoisie who fostered the kingdom's wealth were burdened by heavy taxes that left them with little of their hard-earned crowns. So when General Edor set his sights on his aging kingdom, merchants slept at the chance. And then there's this one. Deprived of Grinmir and Vertrus, what little that Alazar still held on to was inevitably taken by General Ador. The great kingdom was annihilated. Today, the kingdom of Alazar is but a shadow of its former self, and its rulers can only mourn its bygone glory. It would come as no surprise if Alazar tried to reunify the northern kingdom. Okay, well, that doesn't tell me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's try. Go we'll see if the, there's the Might mine I interest is. You in my humble wares, my good sirs. The mine is one of the last things I can think of. And who are these bozos over here? Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Who are these guys again? They got anything? Oh, them proper. I'm ever astonished by oh, the Oh right, they're the plague people. Right, they're the plague people. Okay, so we need to go this way. Anybody home? Anybody new here? There's nobody here. Nobody else. Bummer. Really hoping we learn something new here. Darn it. Son of a gun. Okay. Well. This really feels like the kind of thing I'd like to make a guide for, so it'd be easier for other people in the future to do this particular region, because we're at 77%, and that's just... It doesn't seem like it's enough to accuse... I feel like we're missing some piece of paperwork or something, some piece of proof, but I'm not sure how to get it. Oh, there's three Orvines here, wow. Oh, but let's see. I did read one thing about the bandit lair. Where's the bandit lair in relation to here? Bandit lair. Let's go there. We gotta go what? Down around the lake and come okay. Around the lake at night. And 
And then there's that guy. Where is the bandit lair? Is it? Where's the rubble for it? But oh, we're going the wrong way. It's up here. Tracker's camp. Don't suppose you guys know anything, do you? I think we've talked to, to them. To be honest, don't know I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Yeah, they're just ghost pack hunters. I talked to them before, and there was nothing there. Nothing to learn. Right there, Bandit's Lair. So maybe I missed something here. <clears throat> if you wish to benefit from everything the black market has to offer, you will have to make your way there. In the meantime, you can deal with me. So what else is here? Anything? What is this? Inspect. Okay. You know what? This is the first time I realized that you can take these and and rotate them as well. Is there anything in this camp? What is this? Okay, we picked up something new there. You can't rotate it fully 360, but you can rotate it some. Yeah, so there's nothing. There's nothing Yeah, Nothing that's going to help us. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> well, folks, it's been about an hour. So this is what I'm going to do is more research and try to figure it out. We moved the needle to 77. <laughs> oh, man. It's not enough. Not enough. So... I'll try and figure it out. This has been the hardest region to deal with as far as story goes. <laughs> it's just... It's like, what do I have to do to get it to, to come to an end? There's the Brotherhood investigation. Maybe we need to go talk to them. Let's, let's end the episode with that. That's the one last question mark that is still there. So let's go see if there's anybody in here that knows anything. All right, what do you know? So, have you found the culprit? That's all they got for me is that. And him is. It would be advisable for you to train more before taking on this investigation. Bummer. Nothing. Competition between the. Competition between the guilds, and there's no upstairs. There's the exit. steal some of that wow so there's nothing okay well hmm all right i'm just gonna do a little more work folks thanks for watching as always if you dig it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel leave your questions and comments down below and i'll see what i can learn until next time happy gaming everyone